For Henry Marx, cycling is an addiction. He's hooked on the sheer thrill of pushing himself to the limit, even under a blistering California summer sun. But it's only because of a near miraculous new surgical procedure that he's able to walk, let alone ride. Eleven years ago, he was virtually crippled by the pain in his right knee. When I, you're a kid, you do a lot of crazy things, and I did a lot of crazy things to, and that could have caused the damage. And slowly it crept up on me, and pretty soon it got to the point where it um, hurt every day to walk. Henry's knee became so painful, it seriously affected his quality of life. Even after an operation, he could still only hobble around the office if his family's quarrying business, no longer able to help his brother with the heavier work. Henry's story is by no means unusual. Many millions of people pay the same heavy price for their sporting life, or simply a bad fall. Add to them the increasing numbers with agonising conditions like arthritis, and you understand why so many are crying out for help for their damaged joints. Unfortunately, most discover that existing treatments like artificial knee replacement only offer temporary relief. But this man, Dr. Kevin Stone, whose day job is knee surgery, is making something of a splash with a radical procedure that draws on the body's own healing powers. Four years ago, Henry Marx heard of what was then still an experimental technique and travelled to San Francisco to meet Dr. Stone. There are two types of cartilage inside the knee. There's the articular cartilage, the white shiny surface on the end of the bone. And then there's the second type of cartilage called the meniscus cartilage, which is a fibrous shock absorber in the knee, like this. So what Henry did was he damaged his articular cartilage and created a little hole right on this surface here. What Dr. Stone has discovered is a way of kick-starting a reluctant natural repair mechanism that exists within damaged knees. Cartilage does not naturally repair itself, so we're stimulating it to repair itself. The procedure uses the by now familiar, but no less remarkable technique of arthroscopy, in which a trio of tubes provide a portal to the knee's interior. With a miniature camera as his eye, Dr. Stone hunts for the damaged region of articular cartilage where the bone is exposed. His problem is getting this cartilage to grow back again. He worked out how to do it after seeing what happens in the more extreme injuries caused by skiing accidents. We saw that in skiers, the bigger the injury to their joint, often the better the repair. And so essentially what we're doing is taking a dead area of bone in someone's joint and creating a fracture repair model. What that means is deliberately fracturing the underlying bone to tap into the rich blood supply that the cartilage cells so badly need. So one of the treatment methods that we do is to bring the new blood supply from deep within the bone to that new surface or that damaged surface to form a new repair tissue. Turn that front one around just a bit here. Part two of the procedure is to extract small nuggets of cartilage from elsewhere in the knee. Great, go ahead and crush those. And pound them into a paste. It's this tissue that will be grafted back onto the damaged and now blood-enriched surface of the knee. The body then sees that tissue as its own tissue and remodels it to a healed type of cartilage. Not normal cartilage, but a repair tissue. The advantage is that it's using its own cells to do that. The whole procedure takes barely an hour, although the healing process that follows can be quite lengthy. Over six weeks or so, Henry was told to keep the knee moving as much as possible. This would maintain the blood circulation and stimulate regrowth of the cartilage implant. In next to no time, it seemed, Henry was back in the saddle. After about three months, well, sprinting on my bike was the first absolute fantastic thing. I was, I, I could not believe I could actually sprint. And uh, the next thing, of course, was realizing at work that I could get back out in the yard and actually do uh, 
what was required of me. After a year, it was extremely good. It was 10 times better than it had ever been for 20 years or more. To date, 130 people have benefited from this procedure, and it's now being adopted by other clinics in America and Europe. The technique itself has been extended to include ankle and shoulder injuries. And it's attracted the attention of some high flyers in world sport. But they're not the chief source of Kevin Stone's pride. Just as satisfying, we have the patients who have been arthritic for many years, whose goal was really just to walk to the supermarket and without pain. And for them, it's uh, worth an Olympic medal to be able to just walk without having pain in that area. Oh!